All right. Um, welcome to Snow Talk Friday session. And my name is Juan Zhang from uh, Media and Communication, SMU. But I'm sorry about my appearance before I start. <laughs> I got a um, pink eye and I cannot wear my eye contact. So I was like, why can't I go like this? So maybe next time you will see my, you know, upgraded version. <laughs> OK, let's get started. So today's our theme is about animal. And I wanted to um, kind of connect my major with, my, uh, with today's topic, animals. So I brought this um, issue called Animals on Media and the Related Social Phenomena. So let's get started. Hey, you can see three different images. There are dogs and baby and a uh, beautiful lady. So actually there is a one um, common characteristic among these three. Can you guys guess? Well, the thing is that these are the three easiest way to draw people's attention on advertisements. So maybe if you think about seeds of TV commercials, you can think about animals and babies, women all the time on TVs everywhere. Even though they are not related um, com uh, consumer goods, but they just uh, put animals and babies and women because people are kind of attracted to these um, subjects. So. We can see animals on mass media all the time. Well, so there is a connection between media and animals for sure. So maybe that uh, shows how I chose this topic called um, media, animals on media. So these are the um, examples of uh, uh, how animals show on the TV. So first is TV Gungunongjang, is, which is very famous. I always start my Sunday with this. <laughs> Uh, probably pretty much everyone would do that too. And animal, animals, um, and there's a um, uh, called 세상에 나쁜 게 없다, which is a um, relatively new TV program. And it's really good program if you have dogs. Mm -hmm. It shows like how to train your dogs. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's all up to you. Um, they are not you know, being mean ah. or trying to fool you. But if you watch the show, it will be really helpful uh, when you have a dog. So I really recommend it. And you guys probably uh, recognize this dog. His name is Sanche. And he is pretty much the most famous dog these days since he was on the really famous TV show in Korea called Samsuneki. Well, I don't watch TV often, but um, Samsuneki, I really need to watch it every <laughs> week and I really like seeing Sanche too because I have a dog for myself so um, you know just look at him it. I mean he's so cute you know so uh, well the breed of him is called long-haired chihuahua well if you think about chihuahua we can think we usually think about like a short corded cord the chihuahua but because of him, long-haired chihuahua became really popular in Korea. Well, the problem is that many people want to get a dog just like Sanche. So today, this picture, I actually took it from my um, computer. I was just Googling about Sanche because I need his image. But um, the related um, topic is like all about his breed. What's his breed and what's uh, the name of his breed, whatever. So this is the title of um, one Korean uh, article called um, "The Popular uh, Sanche Became So Popular So the the breed the certain breed mm -hmm. became so expensive. So the supply needs to meet the um, demands all the time in this mar uh, this market. Mm -hmm. So the problem starts right here. Well, I I went into the website. And it's all about how you can get buy a dog. It's not adopting your dog. It's called buy your dog. And if you go there, you can see a lot, lot of different uh, puppies on the website. And the dealers are just um, mentioning about the dogs as as it's like uh, just you know products. Mm -hmm. It's not a living things. Mm -hmm. When you see the words, it's like well, it's the lowest price ever. And you can, what, if you see here, 
is like a number one consumer's choice. It's, it, it just seems like it's not a living thing, you know? And if you see here, it says you can get a free gift if you just you know, call them or whatever. And it's, I just felt like it's not okay. And on, on the top of here, you can see Chihuahua too. So, well, it's one of the, another image that I found on the website. It's called, well, <laughs> you can get the dog with the lowest price on the earth. And it just seems un unnatural because it's a living thing and you have to think about 20 years with the dog. But if you see the catchphrase, it seems like it's just a product. It's like a computer or cell phone, you can just replace it, whatever. So this shows that how many people are just seeing the dog as a, just a thing, not a living thing. So you guys probably will um, be familiar with these dogs too. Um, the first big white dog called Sangguni, um, he was in the Ilbagil, which is another famous TV show in Korea. And the second dog called Minky, and um, he is uh, also be uh, became popular because of Samsuseki, the first version of Samsuseki. Mm -hmm. Well, and the, there's an article called The Sanche, the previous dog, will probably follow after those two famous dogs um, who became really popular because of the TV show. Well, um, you guys probably know the Nyons of PD who um, produced it all this a famous TV show. He always brings animals on his show because he became really successful with this Sangani dog. And many people, including myself, is really not feeling uncomfortable because he I, I sometimes I, I don't want to exaggerate, but sometimes I feel like it's not okay to bring those dogs to media just often because it's such an easy way to get attention. So, there is a reason that I say this um, hypothesis because, well, this dog is called Sangsuni. Well, she was rescued from a puppy mill. Have you guys heard of any of a puppy mill? It's a pup puppy farm. There is a cage everywhere, and there is a mom dog who have to keep having a baby because of his, um, its um, famous um, breed. So be because the Sanggeri was became so fa famous, so people wanted to produce the babies of the breed. But the Great Pyrenees, which is the breed of the name of the breed that Sanggeri, um, became really big, and you really need to take care of it because it's a big dog, and uh, they shed a lot because they have a long coat. But people don't think about it when they adopt a dog. And a year later, after he was on the broadcast, where there are lots of the same breed of dogs on the street because they just throw them, throw them away, which makes just no sense. So she is like a victim because of the animal became on, um, such a popular thing to be uh, on the media. Well, let's not, let me go again. She really suffered from over than 30 tumors because she was overdosed with several chemicals, including aprodosia, which makes um, the body can pre be pregnant all the time. So her stomach was full with tumors. But after she was rescued, she went through um, many surgeries, but she only made um, four month, months with new home. Well, it just showed that how people's attention on um, the dog is just not be um, not can make up, not making a great um, what uh, how how do I say um, social phenomenon mm -hmm. because of this matter. Well, this is the picture of her. Well, I'm I'm I was not going to show this picture because it's just heartbroken, but. Mm -hmm. Um, it's her um, stomach. It's just shredded because it's used so many times as a, just a you know uterus for the puppies mm -hmm. for the products. So it's like you cannot see the actual um, 
you know, normal stomach. Mm -hmm. You can you cannot see it. It's just all shredded, and her paws are all you know, are dry because she was um, just stepping on the metal cage. Uh -huh. And but the second picture, you can see a whole lot difference. She was um, living with a new home, and she became you know normal dog, but. Even though she was rescued, she, she, she just made for four months. Well, there are lots of attentions going on about the puppy mill these days. Um, if, we, if we compare about the uh, compare with the past, but this is the picture of a puppy mill. There are just little, just tiny puppies in cage, and they are about to be the mom dog that just produces the babies to sell. And uh, there are approximately about 1,000 puppy mills in Korea, mm -hmm. and there are only 40 um, puppy mills are authorized. So there are about nine, uh, 900 mm -hmm. puppy mills that is not authorized, and people are getting, um, we don't know what they are doing in the puppy mills, so it's just, it just not make sense for us. So we need to um, go one step forward as a partner of animals, not owners of animals. Mm -hmm. Because we are living in a, a century that we think animals are you know, part of the family. We maybe think we may need to think about animals when they come on the uh, media. Well, every year in Korea, there is 100,000 of abandoned dogs and cats every year. Do you guys know the, um, the percentage about how one owner just get a, a pet and raise it till the death? They're less than 20%. So over the 80%, they just throw it away or I don't, I don't know what they are doing. But I was really shocked. I thought maybe 50. And 50 is still low for me. Yeah. Well, so I'm really shocked how people are just conceptualized about how animals affect their lives. They are not just you know consumer goods. They are living organisms, but many people are missing out those things. Well, so my final suggestion is that maybe we can think twice about animals on media. Mm -hmm. We can just say, oh, cute, or I can, I want to get a dog like that. But maybe we can think about behind the scene. There are so many um, organ, um, the, there are so many dogs and cats um, who are suffering from our um, misled conceptions about the animals. But before I finish, I want to show my dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> Her name is Unchi, <laughs> and um, the breed is Dachshund, uh -huh. which is one of the famous breed, so they suffer a lot. Um, when you have a dog, you have to realize what's the characteristic of the breed. Uh -huh. you know, my, my dog is one of the hound dog, which, is, which means hunter. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm serious. It's oh. really small, but it was trained as a, a rabbit or a, a rabbit or raccoon hunter. So they have a characteristic. They they bark a lot and they howl like the wolf. Oh. And they dig the furniture. And those are the characteristic. And each um like each human being has their own characteristic. Dogs has it too. And have people have to um acknowledge it really well before they adopt one uh, a breed. Mm. So um, Dachshund is, in fact, because of those um, characteristics, people are really, you know, just toss them away because of that mm. um, characteristic too. And she is 13 years old. 13? Whoa. Yes. Which oh. means over than uh, 70 years in, in human. And she is suffering from many different diseases. Um, it, which is really a um, normal thing because when you think about your, your yeah. grandpa or grandmothers, yeah. they, they all have um, different diseases. So animals will be, will be the same too. And people really need to think about how um, animals can be like humans. Mm -hmm. Like it's 20 years commitment, not just two months yeah. of your love. Mm -hmm. So that's why I brought up the a connection between animals and the media. Mm. 
So I really want to want you guys to think twice when you see animals on media. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.